I had a joke. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Fuck it. Warning. The following podcast is another wasted hour. Warning. The following podcast is another wasted hour. I'm so wasted. You know what? Fuck it, man. That is the kind of wasted we are. I don't even care anymore. I don't You know what? Instead of Wasting your useful, productive hour with two ignorant, uninformed, ill-advised, self-deprecating morons ranting about opinions that they have no right to have, which are probably wrong and whose lives don't matter. And like, I don't you know what, man? No, we're the other kind of wasted. We're just going to like hang out and chill and eat some Cheetos. It's right gonna, on, man. Yeah, it's right going to be awesome. Like we should totally we're changing this. And since we're not going to actually do the intro different, we're just we're just going to do the entire podcast different. Because this is easier. We don't even have to prepare. We can just have silence. <laughs> All right, Chong. What? <laughs> Man, you know what? But if you're also wasted and like you need something to do, like go search for another wasted hour on like all them social media sites and stuff and share and like follow and mention and like smoke up and like hug and like cuddle with a tree and follow us and review us and then you know like do us another solid and please like like subscribe to another wasted hour just like on itunes and google music and like do anything that's free like just share it share it with your friends like just give it pass it to the left right and then like you just it like love do it like love and then yeah you know that that's what i just want people to know is that we're just we're All like right, love. Keith, my Fitbit just went off that I need to take 250 steps this hour, so I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, well, then why the hell are you here this week? <laughs> I'll see you later. Well, actually, I'm here to give you my two weeks notice. What? Uh, no! Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Uh, I've... Wait, I did that wrong. Hold on, hold on. What? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I told you I was seasonal when you hired me. <laughs> yeah. I did I thought so, uh, you were seasoning. I no, thought you were just no. adding no. spice to the show. <laughs> Is that a Mexican joke? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> right. No, nah. nah, man, the trees. The trees have started fucking. That's They're it. releasing their pollen into the air. <laughs> yep. And that is when I hibernate. Trees. So I'll see you in a month. Tree sex everywhere, just yep. all over your face. Yep. You just walk out there and just... And all these people breathing it in, and they're just like, yeah, cool, I yeah, love spring. I'm like, you're... You're literally breathing jizz right now. You just got a tree facial. You walk up there. <laughs> get, go back inside. Put a mask on. So yeah, man, I am. Uh, I'm gonna crawl into like some <sighs> yeah. some bubble tent like slash filtered air thing, and I'll see you in a month. Oh It'll well, I understand that, but I'll I'll miss you a lot. I I'll really leave you a cardboard don't. cutout of me. Oh, that'll probably be about the equivalent comedy. Yeah, I'll be about as yeah, I'll be about as funny <laughs> as I always am. <laughs> what? Tell me, why are you here, Keith? That's an excellent question. I just had a lot of free time. I obviously didn't go to work today because <laughs> there's a big strike, right? Uh, women's strike day. And so I thought, that sounds like fun. I don't want to work. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to support them by also striking and not going to work. So there you go. You're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> you have done ladies, America a solid. Ladies, I am in your corner helping you out. <laughs> I'm against the man, too, especially if it requires me not going to work. <laughs> like, I'm in on that. We're all together. I know what you're thinking. It was a women's strike day, and I shouldn't have done it. But you know what? That's presuming my gender. So <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Pretty soon they're going to have a separate bathroom for you, Keith. I know. Just a Keith bathroom. <laughs> where the urinal's on the ceiling. Back and I got to really push hard to try and get it in there. Right. The picture that we that designates your bathroom is just a guy with a backwards hat and a beard. <laughs> right. <laughs> just, it's just the picture of a guy peeing in the corner next to the to the sign. Uh, that's yep. what it is. I it's know whose bathroom right that is. Right over here. That's it. Is that a dumpster? Yeah, that's my bathroom. <laughs> Perfect. That's the sign for it. So we have uh, somebody else we need to find out why they're here this week, because the Lord only knows. Uh, we are lucky enough to have uh, Nick and Haley from Better Homes here in studio. Guys, why are you here this week? I, too, am supporting the women's strike. <laughs> I was just off today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, I've noticed that you've taken to just chewing on microphone. That's what you, you're here for today. 
I just really like gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, we got gummy bears. Who doesn't? On the way here. Yeah, gummy bears. Surfies. So we're like all sugared up right now. Now, <laughs> I noticed you didn't go full on Harborough. You decided to... No, think- because he's a cheapskate and bought the... F- yeah, so here's what you even, do. I'm just so mad. There's You're mad? Whole, no, I'm so do. mad. No, you know what? Look. We don't want to even hear from you. Haley, what's wrong? Okay, Tell me. so I'm really mad. <laughs> This is your day. This is your day. Yes, it's International Women's Day, bitches. You better fucking listen to me. We're listening. We're behind you. I'm so mad Uh because he bought the shitty fucking 7-Eleven brand. What? Have you had this one, man? They're good. Two dollars. It's like a seventy-eight cent difference, man. For two doll hairs. Nick, don't even try and defend yourself. (laughs) All right. This is just offensive. You're the reason we didn't go to work today. You know what? I take it back. We said on this show before we started, you could say anything you wanted. But Nick, this has gone too far. Exactly. (laughs) Hey, I'm cutting spending. I'm draining the swamp (laughs) of gummy bears. Do you you know that he's the one in the band that everyone tells to shut up all the time? Because everything you say is just not nice. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Did you buy the brand of gummy bears that has that like that artificial sugar replacement nonsense? Probably. Maybe. Oh my god. This is in about in about 40 minutes here. Natural and artificial This is going to get real interesting. Seven slug gummy bears are a mix of great tasting fruit flavors that creates an unbearably fun treat. Unbearably? Oh my god. Oh my god the joke. There's red number 40. Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. One of the ingredients is red number 40. Is that bad? Probably. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> it's like it's like probably probably about twenty worse than red number f- yeah. twenty. Fair. Okay, That's do you really yeah. know why I'm here? I can tell you why I'm here. Yes. I am here because um this morning when I woke up, yeah. I looked out of my door and saw an animal and didn't know what it was. Wait. So I got really upset because I couldn't figure out what the animal was. And then I went to work. Wait, if you could, if you could help was, her out, that's, that's why what she said. That's why she's because here. If you I could, could help her identify the animal. the animal. Wait, which Call door was it? Was I this live, your bedroom? Was there yeah. an animal in your house? No, I like, live in a basement. Yeah. So my basement has a sliding glass door to uh-huh. the outdoor. Oh, okay. So I looked outside, like I do every morning, with my you know Keurig cup of coffee. Uh huh. And there was an animal and I couldn't figure out what it was. So that's why I'm here. Because I was going to say, if it was your bedroom door and you just opened it and you were like, <laughs> what the hell? I'd be like, that's probably your dog. <laughs> like, you know, like, no, I don't have a dog. I have a snake and a lizard. I got you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so we don't know what was outside your house today. No. And that... So if anyone knows who was out, what was outside, <laughs> who was outside? Uh, it was some dude, house. it wasn't an animal at all. It was just some guy. <laughs> Please email us contact at another waste hour. Let us know mm-hmm. what it was because we don't we don't know. My phone number is one eight hundred. What the hell's Biatch. outside my house? <laughs> oh my Tweet at Better Homes Band House. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> I've also heard that you guys have a show coming up at Jam and Java over in Vienna on March 16th. Correct. Correct. Yes. You're here here to promote as well. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. So the show is on March 16th at Jam and Java. We already went over that. <laughs> that was That's all you're coming with? <laughs> no, just kidding. I literally just said that. <laughs> yeah, um we are playing with our friends in Underdog Champs. They just released their new EP. Okay. Um and then um some new friends of ours in 3 p.m. it's their tour kickoff. And so we're going to be playing with them. We're really excited. There's a couple other uh, bands on there. Um, the Backwoods. Backwoods and, and Mending Fences. Correct. Yep. So yeah. um, we're really excited to play with them. And it's, it's going to be a fun show for sure. That's very cool. And when does it when does it start on uh, March 16th? I believe doors are at 6 o'clock p.m. The show starts at 6.30 or 7. Okay. Yeah. But you can get info for that on jamandjava.com. Perfect. Okay. Mm-hmm. So guys, you should all go check that out. Uh, mark it on your calendars March 16th. We also have have a track from uh, Better Homes. If you fast forward to the one hour mark of this particular episode, uh, you'll be able to uh, to listen to their song, which is called Our Youth, which is featuring one of the guys uh, from another band we're having in. So who is that? Uh, Ark of the Sun. And um, it's our friend Jonah Amster. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, they're going to be in a couple of weeks. I love um, you, Jonah. Jonah Amster. <laughs> No uh, one listens to the show. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Jonah doesn't. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and so... Uh, so yeah, we'll play a sample of that song, uh, Our Youth, later in the show. Uh, uh, before that, though, uh, we're going to do a little thing we like to call uh, the weather report. So the weather report is pretty simple. Um, exa- what it is, is we're going to go through some things that have happened this week, and you're going to tell us whether or not they're news. 
Okay. Is okay. it about the weather? Because the weather was nice today. Uh, no, it's more oh. with an H. Oh, okay. Um, uh, so <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're, ah. <laughs> I see the thing. We're gonna uh, start off with one which I I have to say. I'm going to try and convince you, obviously, that all of these uh, that I have are news. Um, but this one, I think, in particular, is really important to consumers. Um, there's a brand new Oreo on the shelves right now, um, which on its own, that's... <laughs> what was that? We... I, I'm saying I'm I'm really excited because I know what you're about to say. Yeah, what's that? Peeps Oreos. That's right. And I've uh. had them and they're so good. <laughs> so <laughs> Peeps Oreos, uh. which is news on its own, right? That's already news. Mm hmm Here's what we found out is also that uh, there is an interesting side effect to eating Peeps Oreos. Uh, the dye in the Peeps Oreos is fairly strong. So as you eat Oreos, uh, no. <laughs> right, uh, your tongue often turns pink. Your mouth will often turn pink. If you eat enough of them, your poop also turns pink. No way. <laughs> yes. That's no, hilarious. Seriously. You are basically turned into a unicorn. Because I assume that's what they poop. His pink poop. His pink, pink poop. poop. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't see this as a bad thing. Like if you, I yeah. think the discovery of unicorns is news. I wonder how much red number forty here. is in those. Feet. Yeah, and I'm sure red number forty is in there. I, well, that's red like one forty. I'm guessing. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's that's a much higher it's proof. It's all of, of them. Red. It's like one thirty nine just down the line. Like, yeah. So uh, so the question is, is that news or not? I think that's news. Yeah, pink All poop right. is news. How about yeah. you? Nick? Um, yeah, I, I get think... two newses. Two, yeah, man. Yeah, this is great. Is that's a news? two for one right there. I'm gonna go with news. Yeah. All right. Well, mine. Uh, it's kind of a pooping pooping story. <laughs> uh, are they all pooping stories? All things They're not are all pooping, pooping stories. Down, but... but it's uh, you, you know, a lot, lot of poop jokes are gonna be going around. That's I, fair. I have a feeling. That's fair. Yeah. So, uh, passenger si passenger jet. <laughs> Forced to divert because of extremely pungent smell coming from the lavatory. Oh no! Oh, Apparently, yeah, it was such a horrendous smell. Yes, that they the pilots got nauseous and <laughs> requested to land the plane at the nearest airport. <laughs> they don't have any Febreze, man. What's right, going on? <laughs> right. Big surprise. They were like, "This plane. What the hell did you eat?" The guy's right. like, "Uh, other poop." <laughs> right, pink, just rotten. Pink, so many peeps. <laughs> Rot, rotten peep poop. Big surprise. This plane was from India. But, so it's just <laughs> curry. Oh, no. And if you've ever eaten oh, Indian no. food, you know how oh, rough no. it is 12 hours later. Indian food. Or more like 12 so minutes. Good, 12 that minutes curry later. was so strong it turned an airplane around. <laughs> right, like, that is impressive. That's, I'm feeling woozy, man. The windows are fogging up, but we got to land this shit. <laughs> that's, that's spicy right there. And the lavatories, too. That's not like it just sits there in the water. Water. There's no water. It goes down and it's gone. Yeah. Right. And they still couldn't get rid of the smell. That's oh how God. bad that curry was, right? Is that it went, you hit the button and it went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering about the in flight meal. <laughs> like, Do you think the uh, toilet threw it back up? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, geez. They made that sucking sound. <laughs> Oh god, no. oh god! No! Oh god! No! Oh <laughs> no! Like, oh, it's everywhere! I immediately regret okay, this decision. Quick side note: Do you ever like think of a of a toilet as like a personified person, and that they're like they eat your shit and your piss every day? <laughs> what? That is, um, well, they have one they job. Have to go through they have one job. I'd say they're doing it pretty well. I would. I think I would hold it all the time. I'd be like, I'm really sorry, toilet. I'm gonna go shit in the shower now. <laughs> the shower's like, what the fuck, man? Oh my god, you're a person too. I didn't even know you were a person. Everything's a person. I imagine. Um, the you already scrub your pits in me. Very suave French man. Oh baby. <laughs> Hello. Oh wee oui, wee. Oui, I like your wee wee. Do you live in like Pee Wee's Playhouse or something? Like, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we need to tell you whether this is news or not. Yes, yes, please. I don't think it's news. You don't think it's what? news? No, <laughs> it's I think it surprising. is. Because watch, one month later, watch. There's gonna be a TSA agent every airplane bathroom. Oh. Everyone, <laughs> welcome to Trump's America. Right, except for my bathroom, <laughs> Keith's bathroom, separate. Trump's yeah, that is just the, yeah, welcome to Trump's the dumpster India. on the bath on the oh, plane. Geez. Yeah, <laughs> Keith's is like his bathroom is immaculate. <laughs> I'm just peeing in the cart. In the cart, <laughs> right? His bathroom is immaculate because he feels bad for the toilet now. <laughs> right. He doesn't shit in it. Right. <laughs> I just pooped out the window. It's fine. So, oh, wow. oh, you didn't get one. I'm one ahead of you right now. I'm pretty wow. excited. Uh, all right. This is a, another good one, I think, um, for a couple of reasons. So here's the best part is that um, we've learned, you know, the Nintendo Switch just yes. came out. 
pretty big deal, right? Uh, it's a brand new uh, Nintendo system. You can take it with you. Has um, little cartridges you put in, you play on the go, or you can plug it into your uh, TV and play in your house, which is a really cool concept. Uh, people have bought them this last week, and what we've learned is something very important, and that is the little cartridges that are the games taste terrible. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Yeah. They're that's really, really important, actually. Really bad tasting. I don't know why people are sucking on Nintendo cartridges, because you should know. You blow on them. You don't yeah. actually just blow them. So it's totally... <laughs> I think I saw that on a bit on YouTube or something like that. Someone doing that. Yeah. So they actually found out that Nintendo painted them with a paint that has a, a bittering agent to it to prevent people from accidentally swallowing it, which uh, uh, seems like an odd thing what? to accidentally swallow. But it uh, seems like you have to know, like, I'm putting this thing in my mouth and swallowing There's some it. lawsuit probably about it. <laughs> but apparently it's, like, really bad. It lasts... For hours afterwards. GD. It's not even taste it and be like, oh, that's bad. I'm not going to put that in my mouth anymore. It's, uh, you remember last Tuesday when I put that cartridge in my mouth? Yep, still <laughs> taste it. So oh, no. don't put Nintendo Switch cartridges in your mouth. That is the news. It's super important because you will hate yourself. A PSA yes. <laughs> from us. Is that news or not news? Not news. Oh, I'm going to say it's God! not news. Suck on that, Stop key. being Come dumb. On! <laughs> Don't be dumb. <laughs> Help me out. Is it news? Come on. No. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Suck my dick, bitch boy. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell she was conflicted because she made like 58 faces before she said no. She's super. She's I super... gave you the benefit of the doubt with my face. Yeah. No, I, I get that. Okay. This one then I think I think I've got you with this. Okay. Oh. Right. Is it me? Yeah. yeah that's you. Me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, this is one. If that was not news, this is absolutely news. <laughs> Um, so, uh, there was a study done, uh, that has determined, uh, that, uh, if you like smoking marijuana, which happens to be legal here in Washington, DC, uh -huh. or in Virginia right now, which is not so legal, but if you go to DC, no big problem. You can, uh, actually have marijuana. You can smoke marijuana. Some people even call it weed. And so wow. the study has found that's that pretty you, cool, man. Yeah. Though the kids are calling it these days. That's the that was the news. Is that the kids are calling <laughs> the weed. <laughs> Crazy kids. So uh Health Canada, which is their their like uh department there, has said that uh it's actually not a good idea to smoke it. And this study has shown that if you like the effects of marijuana, it's actually more potent if you take marijuana rectally. <laughs> So, guys, I'm just saying, this is a new option. It must be really hard to keep that lit when I'm you're inhaling right through your ass. Plus, the good news is, although it is legal in D.C., it's not legal in Virginia. But if you take it rectally, they probably won't find it. Right? So it's a win-win because you're getting high and not arrested. I'm still like, trying to figure out how this is possible. Like, I don't want to explain to me. Yeah. But I'm trying That's to figure out like, prerequisite how you do that. To this explanation yeah. here. Well, here's what. Don't smoke it. First, Exhibit don't light day. it. That's important. Okay. Oh, see, I was confused. I was like, how do you inhale with your ass? Right. That yeah. Really, I was, I was starting you, to work, with, work through that. Yeah. You know, they say if you cough, you get way more high. So what if your ass coughs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't think you I'd want to like be around for that. A toot? <laughs> yeah. Just a little smoke. <laughs> what do you want to call it? <laughs> Our next album's going to call it Marijuana Farts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to make it weird, but your ass blows really fantastic smoke ring. I'm impressed. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Hot boxing is not as popular, I have to say, <laughs> in those rounds. I'm That's just why they had are to you guys going to tell plate. us if these are actually on the news or this not? This is on the news. No, yeah. it's not. You're yeah. full of yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, no. no, we're asking No, he's not you. full of shit. He's full of marijuana. <laughs> these are... <Apparently. laughs> <And> his asshole. <laughs> this, this was reported by Huffington Post in Canada. It Huff. is an actual story. But, but we're see, asking you, is it newsworthy? Is it news? Should it be news is what we're asking you. Oh. Is oh, so it? this is like legit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> that, you're going to go home and try it, aren't you? No. That, that's what that looked like. I'm was. actually allergic to marijuana. Well, maybe so, not rectally. Maybe not. <laughs> Keith, you're going to get it. No. Never tried it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the last um, time we heard from him. I'm going to say not news. <laughs> Don't I'm going to say not I news. R.I.P. me. Because you, you can smoke weed through like... A thousand different things. This is just a thousand and one now. Not yeah, news. Exactly. Not news. <laughs> and besides, okay. things are more potent when you put them in your butt, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's some stoner. Since when is that? Mm. 
mm, exciting. Yeah, yeah, there's some stoners like 50 years old that already knew this. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. dude. When you yeah. yeah. that for Butt years, plugs. this is a hippie who's like, right now, yeah. as you're telling me this, I have marijuana in dude, my butt. I found that out seeing the dead in '86, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so not news. Okay, I, I'll take that one. Passing it is really it hard. It could be, but I don't. Think oh wait, no, you should try it though. I'm just saying. No, don't poo poo it unless you've tried it. Uh, I'm just going to sit here eating my Slurpee. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I got one for you. In my mouth. Let's see. This one's nice because it sets a precedent, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Arkansas college student juggles to prove sobriety to police. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, I, I imagine the slew of tests, you know, walk this line. Yeah. yeah. Recite the alphabet in, uh, you know, uh, what w- w- some sort of... Backwards, inside out, literally, yeah. Every third letter, sure, and yeah, then yeah. turn around, and say it backwards, blah blah blah. And this guy is like, "Fuck it, I can juggle." So if you get really good at juggling, it doesn't matter how drunk you are. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you get pulled over, be like, "I can't be drunk." Yeah, I can juggle. <laughs> you know what amazing skill do you have that you can do that the office just like. There's no way you can do that drunk. No. Nope. This is really disconcerting because I'm not a drinker, but I'm afraid that I'm going to get pulled over at some time and they're going to be like, can you juggle? And I'll be like, N- no. And then they're like, you're <laughs> obviously the gut, drunk. Right. That, actually, back. that could set a precedent from the other side. Right. What can the police ask you to do to prove that you're sober? <laughs> yeah. Like, Well, now there's, there's like a theme of one upping, right? They're like, can you walk this line? Whoa, I got a better one. I'm gonna fucking juggle on that line. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I give you a wager. <laughs> yeah, do a triple Please back tell me flip. That this kid got out of that ticket. I'm just saying, like, what if it's did. like instead of walking a line, they're like, we're just gonna set up this tightrope, you know? And you're like, yeah. I can't do that. I'm gonna go to jail now. I didn't even know that was yeah, a the thing line. I needed to do. <laughs> Please so uh, feed the, this the one thing thousand is, though, pound gorilla. <laughs> uh, the driver, yeah. you, mm-hmm. a- you asked whether he got off the yeah, ticket yeah. or not. Sure. Uh, he said he was driving slowly because his car had a broken taillight. Uh-huh. Officers determined that he was sober, but it was rather suspicious that his license plate read, Juggler. <laughs> <laughs> so he was clearly very good at that. Right. Yeah. I'm guessing that guy got off, but from juggling. he was just hammered yeah <laughs> right you think it's hammered so your state learning is your theory i think right. it's all important to plan i think he planned that yeah that was he's, a like, he's been he's been juggling drunk for years now the cop's like you you didn't walk that line at all you literally fell over but you're still juggling i'm not even mad I'm yeah impressed. that's impressive yeah they should have thrown a curveball at him and be like swallow this sword like that's newsworthy. Put it in, no, it's more potent if you put it in your butt. Right, yeah. exactly. I, I used to do a side note. I used to do cheerleading in college, and I knew people uh, on my team that could do like backflips and stuff. Shit faced. Yeah, like hammered out of their mind. They could do backflips. There you go. Like full twisting stuff. You know what the best test would be is if they just handed you one of those long balloons and said like make a poodle because if you're drunk <laughs> that poodle's yeah. gonna be all kinds of fucked up. <laughs> make right? me a bicycle like, yes. clown. <laughs> Even if you're sober, you can kind of get <laughs> close, clown. right? You can kind of like that's kind of like a poodle. Is that that's, if, that looks like a retarded giraffe. Man. Right? <laughs> what did you make there? But yeah, but if I you're can juggle, if you're drunk, you're like ah, it's an intestine. I don't know. Like. <laughs> yeah, that's newsworthy. Yeah, yeah that's news. awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling right. that now. Yeah, trying to get good at one thing while we're drunk. No, but I, I've got this one right now. You, you're, you're falling behind on this. Okay. Uh, so, uh, just after 6 p.m. on March 2nd, uh, police arrived in an apartment uh, at the three th- or 1300 block of East Garrison Street to investigate an ale- alleged home invasion and assault. All right. Uh, They found a a 40-year-old man outside with an apparent broken ankle and several cuts on his body. Police were also met by a woman who said uh, she was the man's girlfriend and was there to break up with him. Uh, She told police that the man did not handle the breakup well and began losing it, rambling off Bible verses and speaking incoherently. Like you do. The, you know? the woman said that the man left the Fall apartment, enter, uh, entered the home next door, where he allegedly struck a seven-year-old woman, <laughs> uh, year old girl for seemingly no reason. <laughs> the girl's father confronted the man. He fought him for some unknown amount of time. And then uh, he was uh, struck another man over the head with a ceramic ashtray. Holy then fuck. he yelled, uh, he broke free from the struggle, yelled, I'm Spider-Man! And jumped through the window of the second floor breaking his ankle so that that is it that's what happened it that's oh that's it that's that's 
news to me. Are you, I think. Are you yeah. sure that's a news story and not a 30 Rock scene? Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's like something like 30 Rock. This happened in real life. That seems like something Tracy Jordan would do. First yeah. of all, it existed. Second of all, we found Superman. So is it news? Right. Right. It's right. newsworthy. That's yeah, newsworthy? Yeah, we found Spider-Man. Yeah! Congratulations. Spider-Man exists. I, believe, I was right all along. All you had to do was get uh, Mary Jane to break up with him. Cool. Yeah. All right, you've got last one. <laughs> do all it. right. So, this one's pretty good. I think you guys are going to like it. Keith. We got a little bit of time. Go. Hit the button. Hit the button. button. Boom. So, a town in England proposes a swearing ban. So. Fuck that! Yeah, that's bullshit. (laughs) This town in England has proposed a public... Uh, public places protection order to prevent swearing and other quote quote anti-social behavior in the city center. People caught using foul language, uh, begging, loitering, taking part in other similar behaviors could be warned, removed, or even fined. Like, so what the fuck can you do in public in this town now? <laughs> How do they punish that? They put them in the stockades? Right. Do they send them to Australia? Uh, but the you, know what the, you know what the worst part about the stockades was? <laughs> When you're sitting there, helpless, and people swore and threw shit at you. <laughs> Apparently, they'll end up right next to you in the other stockades if they do that now. So, what do you got? What do you got? You ain't got shit. Yeah. That's, the one thing you can still do in public uh, is boof some marijuana. <laughs> you not can know. shove some marijuana up your ass. Yeah. That's what you can do. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, is it news or whatever? not news? No. No? Not news. That the English have tried to, you know... <laughs> I think it's news and I think they need to be stopped. They tried to ban people, (laughs) public people, essentially. You are no longer allowed to go outside. It's downright un-American is what they're doing. No. It's un-American? That's a bit much, isn't it? Downright un-American. I mean, they're British, so they're supposed to be un-American. Exactly. So, (laughs) all right. I don't even know. I didn't keep a score, but I'm going to say I won. Uh, So, um, (laughs) (laughs) sounds fair. (laughs) <laughs> so again in studio we have our good friends from now how did you get this name by the way um so we were before we released our first record better home um so. we were watson and we realized that hey watson's a really good band name and that's why so many other bands took it uh, so <laughs> we uh had to change it um we're all fairly big in different degrees fans of the band taking back sunday um they have a song called better homes and gardens which is uh, one of our our guitar players, one of his favorite songs, uh, Aaron, who's not with us today. Um, so we just decided to like, hey, let's call it Better Homes. And uh, rolled off the tongue. It was short, sweet. Yeah. And it uh, works. Yes. Did you, uh, are you ever going to tour with a band called Gardens? <laughs> We get that so many See, times. Yeah. times today. And the I answer would. is yes. Yeah, we're gonna start homes and gardens. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start we're gonna start a band called Garden and Gardens. It's gonna be a better homes cover band, so it's gonna be two sets. So, so you do the same thing over again. So, yeah. Oh my god, that's you so guys funny. are gonna break down all your equipment after your first set. <laughs> Un- like leave the stage. Yeah. Come back on the stage yeah. with new equipment. We're on Chinese fire drill. New banners. <laughs> They're like, all right, guys, yeah. we're Ann Gardens. <laughs> the premier. <laughs> yeah, we're Ann Gardens, the premier Better Homes cover band on the East Coast. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. We're a Better Homes tribute band. Yeah, we're going to play exactly. the same set again. Exactly. <laughs> so we want to play, uh, speaking of sets, uh, a song of, I assume, from your uh, last record. Correct. Here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this song called Our Youth. Now, I have this on my uh, tablet here where I hit a button and it plays, but my tablet just died. So we're going to put this in in post-production. Uh, we'll have uh, the ghost of Adam, our engineer, uh, put that in. So this is a space that we'll leave for said song. Uh, so this is a song called Our Youth, and it's featuring uh, Jonah Amster, right, uh, from Ark of the Sun. Correct. Correct. All right. So let's listen. Sorry. So we lied, we're not actually going to song. All right, so tell us a little bit about the song. Uh, by the way, before we get into that, I want to let people know that if um, they want to hear the entire song, they can fast forward to the one hour mark of this episode, listen to the song, remember where you are right now, you can bounce back uh, and listen to the rest of our ridiculousness. And so... Uh, Tell us a bit about uh, Our Youth and the album that it comes from. Uh, what inspired the song? Uh, so Our Youth is the single off of our sophomore EP called Cardio Sonus. Um, and Our Youth is about the sort of um, beginning of my breakup with my last boyfriend. We dated for five years. So you're saying you're single? I'm not anymore, <laughs> actually, no. 
How could you resist uh, this I'm, sultry voice? I have yeah. an amazing boyfriend named Alex. I love you, babe. Um, Duh. <laughs> He's not going to listen to the show. <laughs> he will. Trust me. Is He's he really single? supportive. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, is, actually, he is single, oddly enough. Oddly enough. It's very strange how yeah. that worked out. Yeah, yeah. he is. Wibbly he wobbly. doesn't know we're dating, but that's okay. <laughs> that's yeah, so... Um, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's about the beginning of um, our downfall. Okay. Um, I dated this guy for five years, and... And um, the song introduces different parts of our um, uh, ending, so to say. Right. Like, um, I included even like a some 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 of the lyrics that I wrote um, kind of included how like um, the our first room? Was yeah, that, yeah 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 that was <laughs> how our first <laughs> how our first date kind of went, and then like uh, things we talked about, um, and then just like like why we feel the way we do about like going downhill in the relationship. Sure. Did, now here's a really important question. Has he heard it? Um, I fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen like, is just like panic p washed over his face? Like, uh, Did you see him in an audience or anything? Or I like... have not seen him since we broke up, which right. was... April of last year. Okay. Well, lucky for you, we have him in studio today. So let me just <laughs> Come call on, him. Jerry, Come on Jerry, in. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Yeah. Here's no. a knife. Do something with the knife. <laughs> oh wow. You guys are assholes. <laughs> you should have listened to an episode before you came. Time for the knife. He's been watching backstage. <laughs> he didn't tell me anything. He just said you're doing this, and I was like, okay. Um, yeah. So I hope he's heard it. Um, Devin, if you're out there, I, I hope that you, um, you know, have heard the record and, and I hope that, you know, you can't sleep at night because of it. And so, I, uh, thank you. And I mm -hmm. hope that you are now turned into the personification of a toilet. Yes. So I can yeah. shit on you all the time. <laughs> wow. I'm a garbage human. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no, no. I hope that fucker I, steps just, barefoot on a Lego. Just let yeah. it out. That guy. Yeah. Bam. Just, just let I'm it not, out, Haley. I'm, I'm not petty buddy anymore. Like, it's over and done with. And I have a, a, a really good boyfriend who cares about me. And I have really good friends. So it's kind of, you know, it kind of works itself out. Yeah, absolutely. But he can still, you know, eat shit. That's fine. That's <laughs> right. Well, if it's his job. I mean, yeah. Yeah. we don't want to take him away from I don't from know where job. he is or what he does, but yeah. good riddance. It's okay. My dad could beat up his dad. <laughs> That's right. Um, probably. That's all that matters. That's so, all that matters. So his dad doesn't believe in violence, so. <laughs> so well, I just, yep, you know I mean? I'm yeah. totally right there. I could take him. So, quick reminder, you guys are playing March 16th at Jam and Java in Vienna. Correct. Um, uh, you're with Underdog Champs, Underdog Champs, who yes. are doing their EP release there. Underbutt Dumps, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> and is it 3 p.m.? Is that the? 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. 3 yeah. p.m., who's doing their tour kickoff as well. Yes. Um, so, go check them out. Is this a song you guys will be playing at the show? Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Okay, great. Uh, so, again, you can fast forward to the one hour mark and take a listen to that if Let's you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, calm down. Like my dad slippers. I, yes. would, <laughs> I would say people are watching, but it's radio. Nobody's watching. So go ahead. Babe, so, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's totally what it, it sounds, like. sounds like. It's what it sounds like. It's what it sounds like. Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. Uh, so we're going to move on to uh, a little section uh, that we like to call uh, This Week in History. What we're going to do is we're going to go through some uh, historical things that have happened throughout time around the time of this episode. And you at the end are going to let us know which is the most historically important thing that occurred. Uh, I'll let you decide what the criteria for that is, because um, it doesn't matter. That's really what <laughs> that's the truth of it. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go in a reverse uh, chronological order. Uh, which is the best of the chronological orders to go by, mm -hmm. uh, starting uh, with, uh, oh, I have my sound, by the way. It came back up. Um, Yay! 19, oh, sorry, no, I decided 1562. That is our first date of importance. I think, wait, if you're starting at 1562, that's the earliest date. That's just chronological order, dude. Is it chronological? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You'd have to start Reverse. with 2014. Oh, God, I hate math. Okay. You done fucked up. I was holding yeah, a man. Read your thing, man. Okay, so in uh, 1562, uh, <laughs> kissing in public is made illegal in Naples, Italy. Punishable by death! Good. <laughs> death! <laughs> death! Death, death, death! <laughs> So if you think you're rude Ow, when you say to somebody, don't kiss the mic. We'll have to kill you. Okay. You think it's rude to tell somebody, dude, just go get a room. Back then they were like, dude, go get a coffin because we were going to get killed. <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to die. Or dirty looks not enough. Yourself, bitch. <laughs> yeah. 
Were dirty looks not enough? Or? Yeah, really. Like, <laughs> judgment, not enough. We need to literally yeah. kill people. Well, my question is, how bad was the problem that they had to make it punishable right? by death? Yeah. Well, and like, more importantly... It started with kissing in public. It was like, well, those, those three people are just fucking. Yeah. Those... Six people are just fucking in a conga line. Right. <laughs> those guys are making those out. People? Da, 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 da. Uh, that's yeah, what exactly. I'm thinking. <laughs> right? Right? If it's like, oh, those two are kissing, we have to kill them. And then it's like, those eight people are all fucking each other. But I, I don't, burn them right now. I don't know what to do now. Yeah. You've already you taken, stop that. And kill them all. <laughs> you've gone Slaughter to them all. There's no above that, right? So if you're going to kiss, you might as well just bang in public, right? Yeah. Because. Uh, am I going to kiss her or am I going to murder people? It's really the same. More or less. Comes, yep. Yeah. Yep. If you're going to go for the gusto. <laughs> right? All right. Uh, so then we fast forward in time. I would like a sound effect. If we could make a sound effect at some point. Record that. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Sound effect. Uh, 1923. Butter, the much beloved food product, is defined by Congress. Uh, before that, people, I don't... They were putting, it didn't exist before that, actually. Right. No, and before that, they had toast, and they were just smearing, like, broccoli on it, and they're like, that's close, right? Is that butter? That's butter, I, right? That's Butter is, like, the I don't answer know. to all of my problems. It. I didn't know Paula Dean was that old. That's what, <laughs> right. She was probably born that same... <laughs> that's what they define it. This woman is butter, yeah. right here. <laughs> Anything she touches turns to butter. I mean, that's how we define it. If we're being super technical, there is a Mrs. Butterworth. Uh-huh. But what is she worth? Butter. butter, butter. Apparently, the name. Damn it, Keith. Pay me in butter. If you would just listen, you have one job: is just sit there and listen. Can you just listen for a second, Butterworth? She to, said it. To what? I'm sorry, I'm having what am I listening? To? <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, um, I like to imagine that people are like, uh, "Can I borrow a little bit of butter?" And they're like, "Here's a tomato." And they're like, uh, "We're gonna really have to like solidify this." <laughs> and they look this. back and they go, "Wait, define butter." Right. <laughs> Add one stick of butter. For, to these cookies. And it's like, these cookies are the worst because you put cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, or are they the best? <laughs> they don't stay together. That's we can uh, give them to my ex-boyfriend like yeah. that. Yeah. But there had to have been a Why moment. Why waste them on him? I'll eat that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there had to be a moment where people were like, we have to go to court because uh, we fucking what don't know what butter, butter is. I'm yeah. just imagining a contract that involved butter and some guy was like, maybe I can trick him and just give him margarine. And the guy's like, oh shit. I see your I see your ruse. Yeah. And that's margarine. We need to get this defined. Do you <laughs> think that like they passed that law and then the next Congress came in and was like, we have to repeal that butter law and replace it with a better butter law. <laughs> replace it Maybe. with margarine. They had I to mean, replace it with margarine. You never know. And, and then peanut butter came and they're like, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. S slow down. Is butter just like we the act to... of spreading something that's spreadable? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know. <laughs> Almond butter. They're like, we need amendments. Guys, we need amendments. Anymore. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I've I got. Uh, I, I'm glad that our government spends <laughs> valuable hours, <laughs> yes, of their time. It's important defining foods. Uh -huh. The butter lobby had something to do with this, <laughs> right? The butter right? lobby's behind this. At some point, we're gonna find out because I know this for a fact. It's gonna come up in history, and I don't know when it happened. But at some point in time, in like the 40s or 50s, the U.S. Supreme Court had to officially rule that uh, tomatoes were a vegetable. <laughs> We'll see and that's that. wrong. I'm just that saying. is taxonomically wrong. No, it is correct by the law of the land. 1934. <laughs> we're going forward in time. <laughs> Nailed it. That's great. John Dillinger. You've got heard of Don John Dillinger? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Opposed to Don Dillinger, <laughs> which I almost said. Uh, the bank robber. He escapes from the escape proof. Indiana Crown Point Maximum Security Prison. According to FBI files, he used a fake gun carved from a potato. That's amazing. I now, didn't in the right color. Yeah. Well, there were reports that he actually had uh, a real gun, but I'm assuming those reports were by people who he pointed the potato gun at. They were like, no, it was real. It was just totally a real gun. Don't say that. Don't. Is, it wasn't yeah. potato. Is, is Dillinger an Irish name? I didn't know that. <laughs> Right, and later that potatoes year, potatoes aren't even native to Ireland. Fun fact: oh, yeah, I didn't know they that. are native to the New World. That's oh. true. And then later I'm that year, racist. in uh, <laughs> native, the next year, nineteen thirty-five, Congress defined potatoes as not guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not true. That didn't happen. Okay, uh, yeah. they should though. They Why should. Just tell us that is when they started putting butter on it. Uh, let's see. Whoosh. Whoosh. Next in nineteen fifty. 
the uh, famous V Volkswagen VW bus that all the hippies love. Yeah, still love. Uh, was it, it started manufacturing? So all of those buses, I'm pretty sure, were just made in 1950, and <laughs> they just last. They're still around. Yes. Yeah. That's how still awesome around. those bugs are. And, bugs. Those buses are. And I have some a of Volkswagen. Them- you do? I do. Is you have a, a shagging bus? wagon? And I, I don't have a bus. I have a Volkswagen. Oh. I drive a Jetta. That was a lot of disappointment in the room. I wish I had so one. Are you kidding me? Like oh, my God. Oh, you're so much more millennial now with a Jetta. I know. Yeah, well, fun I'm fact. generation That trash. bus is also known as the Transporter. <laughs> that's a, it's, why do we wow, call it that? That is exactly a super badass is. name. Because yep. it transports you to a different world, man. Hey. Yeah, man. You think Jason Statham is <laughs> like, right? Uh, sex and saying. drugs. That's not true. That's, that's what it, that's what it wants, right? I'm the transporter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else do you got for us? Uh, so in 1952, the first use of an artificial heart on a human being Ooh. kept forty-one year old uh, a 41-year-old male alive. For 80 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm guessing the surgery took longer than that. What? So that's. Did he die after 80 minutes? Yes, he's. he's I, I want to know. I think so. What was the fake heart made of? I'm guessing cardboard. <laughs> 80 <laughs> minutes. Right. What? Just... That's such a long time. That's over an hour. Like you can eat a lobster tail uh, in that amount of time. Not if you have a fake heart. Not, not if you're yeah, recovering know from doing. surgery. So oh. like, if it's open heart surgery, they literally replace your I didn't heart say with he something else. He was eating it, bitch. <laughs> Solid point. He was probably <laughs> putting it in his butt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> To get Next to the mirror. Little no, known comes fact. Back. Yeah, the uh, the artificial heart was made out of lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was actually That's a lobster. It was, yeah. it was just a lobster. They just, just put a lobster in your heart going, Why am I in here? <laughs> All right, <laughs> clip, cool. clip, cool, clip. cool. I'm yeah. confused. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't feel like you should announce that. It feels like like the news. When the news article comes out, the guy should still be alive. Yeah. Like if you're like back then, we did a thing. It didn't last long enough for us to report on it. You should just be like, shh. Right, that guy didn't even come out of surgery. (laughs) Right. They (laughs) closed him up, and by the time Anastasia wore off, he dead. Right. (laughs) He dead. Right. He lasted 80 minutes, but he didn't know it. (laughs) (laughs) That's not an accomplishment. (laughs) He set a record until the next guy survived. I could have probably just opened his chest and just squeezed his heart for 80 minutes. Hey, kept him alive. I'm the artificial heart. Cardboard gets soggy if it keeps squeezing. (laughs) Hey, guys, we made an artificial heart. Oh, that's cool. Who'd you put in? Just some guy. Where is he? he he's dead. He's dead. It didn't, Oops. It didn't work that well. Oh, did he have heart problems? No. No, no. He's going to try it. No. He just he actually had a hankering, man. He was in the room. <laughs> he came in to pick up a loved one. Yeah. Just put him on the table. Somebody has a delivery for, it's a Jules. Jules, do you have a delivery? What? Why are you putting me on a table? <laughs> Pretty much. We just put the thing in front of him. He signed it. He actually signed it. an idiot. Yeah, just sign here. Okay. Sign here for the package. All right. Well, I got the next one. Whoosh. In 1993, the year of my birth. On this oh. day, oh look at you! Yeah, I'm sorry. Side note: My birthday was like three days ago. Babies. Oh, happy birthday! Right. Wait, Thank shut you. up. This week in history, you are three days older than the show Beavis and Butthead. Hey. Came nice. out on March 8, 1993. What? It was MTV's <laughs> most like highest. Most popular awesome series. Yes. Okay, so fuck the last one. Just talk about Beavis and Butthead. Right? Right. Yeah. 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 Fire. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, they just sit there and they make fun of music videos and it's amazing. I miss that show. You realize there's a whole generation. They brought it back. They brought it back. There's like really? a, a season that came out in like 2013, something oh, like that. Was, was it okay. good? Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know. I never got a chance to see it. I was going to say there's <laughs> probably a whole generation no of people that are it. that are just like, what's Beavis and Butthead? Uh, and they're like, oh, it's a show where like they made fun of music videos. And like, what's a music video? Right. <laughs> right. So Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. It was on MTV. MTV are you me? had music videos. That's what is this? I'm like Conpoyo. Uh, good old, good old Beavis and Arroz Butthead. Arroz Conpoyo? I need DP for my uncle. This <laughs> week in history, uh, <laughs> Haley Katarina was uh, born. That's right. <laughs> Just something we should Look at that. Yeah. Happy hey. belated birthday. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't worry. You probably look worse than you feel. Mm-hmm. 24 looks good on me. Thank you. Girl. Hey. So we're getting Children. to the end of our, uh, of our time here. So what we need from you is... Is just in a deliberation. If the two of you could come up with uh, of all of these stories, what is the most historically important story? I mean, my birth. I'd agree. <laughs> I agree. I completely agree. No, with that. I mean, like obviously that wasn't the thing, you know. 
But I'd have to say butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because butter? butter is like my like life. It's important to my life as well. Okay. Yeah. So All butter. Right. We so both butter. preach the good name of butter, and I think yes. that's I'm a good day a for us. Um, we can call ourselves Butter Homes. Oh butter Homes. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> or, I just got no. so much more respect uh, for this We're going to change band. our band name to Buttered Muffins. <laughs> buttered. <laughs> you ever seen the movie Mean Crumpets. Girls? <laughs> Would you like someone to butter your muffin? Is butter a carb? <laughs> it's butter a carb. Is butter a carb? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you for participating in this week in history. What have we've learned is this week in history, the most important thing that happened was that Congress defined what butter was. <laughs> Yay. Right thank that you, down. Congress. Thank you, American hey, government. Yes. So back to something. America. Yes. yes. America. So back to something that is, that was like, was that in the Great Depression? Yes. No, like right before, I think. That's right. Wait, no, those are the Roaring Twenties, Great Depression yeah. is 30. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't have anything to do. They were that's, like, that's, Roaring Twenties, we're that's going, how good everybody. Were. <laughs> What's butter? I don't know. That, I don't that's know. Butter. Butter. If you yeah. put it in Let's your butt, it's great. Let's do some and swing dancing. <laughs> right. Should we put some laws in place to prevent this stock market from falling? Nah. nah butter. It's going to be great for all <laughs> we ever, gotta, We got to know. How many more foods can we define? Yeah. So, uh, more importantly, historically than that... Is the fact that we have better homes here in the studio? <laughs> butter, butter homes, butter homes, butter homes, uh, butter homes, butter here. homes and salads. That, that's <laughs> yes. <laughs> Watson and butter homes <laughs> in studio, and uh, we have an opportunity to do uh, a little bit that we really enjoy doing. Uh, if you've listened to a previous show of ours, uh, what we find is there is scientific proof. Uh, that memories are attached uh, to senses. Yes, the scientific proof manufactured by Keith. I did a scientific proof. I did okay. a study of me, and I was like, yep, I remember that. And so what we're going to do, this Solid. is what we call the five senses. We're going to learn a little bit about you guys, uh, the band, uh, your time on the road, in studio, on uh, in rehearsals, uh, by going through each of your senses. So we'll start off with the most prominent one, your sight. So can you tell me a memory, something great, something awful, something just uh, that you can't get out of your mind that you have seen while making music, while rehearsing, while uh, playing a show, while in the you know tour bus or uh, anything related uh, to Better Homes? Da -da, um, da -da, I'll go first. Go. Um, I think. Uh, as far as us, a visual memory is when I'm on stage and I look out into the audience and I yeah. see people I don't know singing words that I wrote. That's really cool, yeah, isn't that's it? That's so cool. That's like a really popular one for a lot of the bands that come through because it's, yeah. it's, it's a moment where you're like, wait, that <laughs> you that, listen to me and you're not my friend. <laughs> right. That person <laughs> listened to my music, not because I guilted them into it. Exactly. <laughs> my poor friends exactly. are like, oh. We're hoping oh to reach. We're hoping to reach that point with our uh, podcast at some point there where you go. people listen. Not you out listen of us. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nick, do you have one? Um, sort of in that vein. But uh, one thing that always sticks out in my mind per in terms of being on stage was uh, last summer uh, we played our first music festival. Yeah, uh, called the Untitled Music Festival. Okay, where is and, that? At? Uh, it is. It's in Newcastle, Virginia. Okay. Well, it was last year. I think it's going to be moved to closer. Oh yeah, to Richmond area. Nice. This year, but Newcastle's close to where I'm from in Roanoke, Virginia, like Southwest oh, okay. Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it's a big outdoor festival. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a big. That was our first like big trip. Uh, a ways. Mm -hmm. Um, the first play out we played that before that was like maybe an hour and a half. This okay. was like four hours away. Wow. Um, and it was our first outdoor show. It was our wow. first festival show. Yeah. It was one of those like all day things. And uh, it was just, it, yeah, it's just, it always sticks out of my mind. And it, it was, was just one of those a, like a whole, real cool, like, yeah, it was one of those whoa moments. You know what I mean? See outside all these people listening. Yeah. How many people do you think were in the audience listening at that point? Um, They're like maybe a few hundred, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. She, <laughs> Haley's now hitting you. you apparently, your your memory yeah. is far too long for yes. her. <laughs> apparently. Sorry. I'll drone. Nick, Nick rambles. And yeah, I'll ramble. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll move on quickly to uh, one that should be easy for all musicians, the sense of hearing. Do you have something really memorable that comes with your sense of hearing? Yes. Um, when we released our second EP, Cardio yeah. Sonus, um, the feedback that we were hearing from our friends and our family and our and our um, peers and and uh, yeah, like that, just like that. Was that the yeah. feedback you heard? Who left the guitar yeah. leaning up against the goddamn microphone? Like, off! We're getting feedback. 
the other <laughs> the other people in the music scene. <laughs> Hearing the feedback on the record was really cool because yeah, <laughs> um, it was just nice to hear that we were doing um, you know. What was the job. best thing that you heard coming back? Like, if is there one particular piece of feedback that really hit you that you thought this is awesome? Like, I I'm so surprised or or so touched that somebody would say this about us. Um, there was one girl um who I think might have tweeted or Instagrammed me. Um, I don't know who she is, but she um, said that my lyrics changed her life and wow. like prevented her from wanting to uh, hurt herself, That's which was amazing. kind of like, wow, wow um, I'm really glad that I could help you like do that. Right. I want you to be more like of a independent person. But if I can be there to help you through that in any way, like that really like is so like, wow, Hopefully just humbling, just, you know, yeah. Hopefully yeah. Probably dated you that same guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hopefully she doesn't write you back and be like, I need more songs. Oh, <laughs> You're like, oh my God. Okay. Um, uh, this is one about a turtle. Like, it's a little bit different no, pressure. Really, yeah. <laughs> different kind of pressure. This one's yeah. about butter. <laughs> All right, Nick, about butter. Don't take 500 years. Um, I, I will go in the same vein in terms oh, of the feedback. Nick, we're out of time. <laughs> so <laughs> let's continue on. <laughs> no, uh, I'll go with the feedback as well, but not in terms of what I've been hearing, but who I was hearing things from. Um, I would hear the certain standard things like, oh, hey, it was great. Like, really love the sound. It was all very sincere, but it was all people from, I respect both our peers um, and people that we worked for that I consider like mentors of ours in some ways. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was definitely, I love hearing from people that whose opinion I value. Yeah. And hearing that sort of feedback from them really meant a lot. No, absolutely. That uh, yeah. That is something that, that really touches you when, when you see that kind of mutual respect. Yeah, exactly. Um, so let's move on uh, to the sense of smell. This one can be a little dodgy, especially if you're on the road. <laughs> nope, I got it. Okay, go for it. Band practice one night. We ordered a pizza that was as big as my face. Yeah. Probably it's... bigger. No, way bigger because my face is small. Yeah, you don't yeah. have a very big face. It was as big as like Nick's ass, yeah. which is huge. Oh. What I do a lot of squats. You do yeah. a lot of squats. <laughs> so we got this yeah, giant pizza ass and pizza and, having to shit. and to exactly. testify for it, it is on Instagram, uh, a photo of us with this pizza. So you can go look at it at Better Homes Band Instagram. Oh. And okay. that pizza smelled really good. All right. Excellent. How about you, Nick? Do you have any, anything for us? Pizza. <laughs> um, I feel the, like you had a good idea. You just ruined the, uh, it. I'm the ghost of pizza and he's gonna past. hate me, but the the smell of uh, our uh, our drummer, our touring drummer Sean's uh, van that we took out to Pennsylvania <laughs> like a year ago it smells pretty bad. It's a really old van. Oh god! And uh, I'm surprised we made it to Pennsylvania. And back. Is it a yeah. transporter? I've had yeah. a few. Of it's those. an no, it's not, yeah, yeah, no, it's a yeah, it's a passenger van. But the exhaust it's, smells really bad. Yeah. That that probably killing you. Sorry, slowly, Sean. Just so probably. you guys know. Kill him softly with his hand. <laughs> Basically. All right. So how about the sense of touch? While through your music, what has uh, what have you touched that's particularly <laughs> memorable? Um, that's when, a hard one. Yeah. I know. It's difficult. Um, anytime I play a show with um, um, our friends and underdog champs, like, yeah. um, they're all like such good friends of mine. Like I love them all so much. And after the show, like we always like give each other like the stupidest hug. The big <laughs> nasty I'm sweaty like, post show. Uh, I'm just like, yeah, they're they're like so gross, but I love them so much. And like I always like that's for some reason like I guess the last show we played like I hugged them all and I was just like you guys are amazing. Like you guys are like the best friends I've ever had. And like hugging them while we played a show together, kind of like. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> it's just, it's a cute memory. You touched your it. cardboard heart. Yes. Aww. For 80 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Nick? Um, not, it's not a specific moment, but it's a recurring moment where as soon as I put on my guitar and touch the neck of it, that's when I basically go in from like hanging out to like, okay, go time. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I, I don't have anything to like get in the mood or get focused or anything like that. I just have that moment and I'm like, all right, ready, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've, I've definitely had that feeling That's as well. That's rare for guitarists, man. Getting a band together after a break is like yeah. hurting cats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. If I could just put a guitar in someone's hand and they'd be ready, that it'd be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So uh, I think we've gotten last but not least, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the sense of taste. And I'm going to go ahead and say that you can't use the taste of shitty gummy bears because we already know. <laughs> From the beginning of the show, that that's very haters. memorable that's for awesome. both of you. I'll do a recent one. Yeah, what's we, up? We uh, played a EP release show at the VFW in Falls Church, and during one of our songs, I just 
came right up to my boyfriend while the music was still playing and I planted a big old kiss on his face. Nice. You were so Aww. gross. And he was just like, oh my God. <laughs> but it was, it was, it was, did he put cute. a did he put a foot up <laughs> like like uh yes yeah. I think so One I think he did up. a little foot pop he was just like oh my god the lead singer bombs get me and then I hope he sounded exactly like that too. <laughs> probably and, and I assume Nick yours is that uh, right after that you went up and kissed him as well <laughs> yes yes and. <laughs> It was a little bit more bitter, but yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you had his taste and her taste. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Good. Mm-hmm. Little that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, <laughs> that'll cause some marital trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a thing worked out. We have it worked out. Yeah. We have an agreement. Cool, cool. <laughs> Sounds it turns, intriguing. It turns his mouth pink. <laughs> <laughs> so many peeps. So many peeps. Well, we made it through, and we've got one bonus round for you guys. Uh, we don't always get through all of the five senses, so we're going to talk about the sixth sense. And that is... Bruce Willis? Yes. Oh. Yes. Can you see dead people? <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to know uh, if you could have a special ability or a superpower, what would that be? Um, To fly, so I don't have to make a car payment. <laughs> That's the reason. No, of better. all the reasons to fly, you're no. like, oh, I Wrong. wouldn't have to pay for a car. I'd be great. Yes. Wrong. <laughs> you're um, like, are you I'm Haley pretty much Katarina? on the same boat. Yeah. No, so shut the fuck up and tell Ooh. them what you would do. Bitch. You're not even like. I hate the real. only correct no. superpower is teleportation. That's the only correct answer. So I don't have to make a car payment. I yeah, am, neither uh, of you want to pay a car payment. No. Fuck really flying. Fuck flying takes payments. time. Teleportation. I'm there in Excuse an instant. Excuse me. Flying's cool because then you can see the fucking world that way. You could you could teleport into the air. I can fly and to Reston, Virginia, and, and do another again. one of these exactly. stupid fucking podcasts. <laughs> That's true. Aww. With another wasted hour. And no, I'm just kidding. No, it's totally. It's you're right. No, it's fine. <laughs> I would just get wasted next time. Yeah, that's. I absolutely. should have come wasted. It's not that kind of wasted hour. Yeah, you should have absolutely. <laughs> it so totally Keith, is. Yes. What would be your superpower yeah. choice? My superpower would be to steal other people's superpowers. <laughs> so that rogue? is so really so selfish. rogue <laughs> yeah. <from> X-Men. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, no, just constant. I just get to get them all. I just I, love I go up and I touch them and I'm like, that's mine now. You don't have it anymore. <laughs> That's really what about, lame. <laughs> what about you? That's just rude. Yeah. I want to know about My you. My superpower is it's going to be the ultimate superpower. Yeah. My superpower would be Boob with toucher. just no, <laughs> even better. With just the thought anyone worldwide I can give them the most mind-numbing, knee-buckling, life-destroying orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> At a oh second's God. notice. So Justin Bieber can have one. For once, yeah. For once. I was thinking more like that's the weirdest one to go to. Why? Yeah, that's a weird Justin go-to. Bieber. But I think like if there's a politician I don't like, yeah, have yeah. fun giving a public speech ever again. <laughs> you just stare through the. It's TV. gonna ruin your life. You're like, my fellow man. Oh, oh God. Oh, collapses. <laughs> that uh, what what would be the, the only person that you wouldn't touch at that point? Like there has to be someone you. that you wouldn't. You would never touch me. Well, no, the, the whole point. I wouldn't have to touch anybody. Man's got to have a code. Oh, you could just do it by by just it's any worldwide. Just boom, you know. Who would you not give an orgasm to? Is what I'm asking. Hmm. Probably Mahatma Gandhi. Well, he's All right, dead. That's fair. He's dead. He's dead. So yeah, that would be weird. Madeline Albright. You're, you're just like, why is that <laughs> casket moving? Like, <laughs> you didn't say they had to be alive. And I'm pretty sure that guy had like uh, I don't know. He had some sort of streak going. Of, yeah. Something or other. I don't know. I never learned to read. You don't know how <laughs> never, history works. Never that's a good read. one, though. I like that. That's, yeah, that's I a never pretty good to one. Read. Do you have any lightning <laughs> round questions for you? We have like less than a minute. Yes. But go. Uh, either one of you. Would you prefer uh, a life of clamshell packaging? That's it. Too Damn late. it. You missed it. Aha, you missed out. <laughs> All right, so everybody, quick rundown. <laughs> March 16th at Jam and Java in Vienna. It is our friends, Better Homes and Gardens. <laughs> Along with Underdog Champs, their EP release, 3 p.m. is kicking off their tour. Also, don't forget, there's a March for Art Monday, March 20th, down on the mall. Something you might want to participate in. Uh, please join the AWH mob. Like us, follow us, retweet us. Share us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. At another Wasted Hour, and we'll mention you on the show right here. Next week, we have the very talented Ark of the Sun, your friends, who are on the show. Uh, thanks to Kevin Evinger, uh, McNally22, Justin Rogers, with Mental Records, Alchemical Records, and the engineer Adam Spector for all their contrib- contributions. Thanks, uh, 
to Victor. Um, most of all, thanks to Better Homes and Thank Gardens. You. Thank, Thank you for having us. Having us. Just it was Better so Homes. Much fun. Uh, this Better has been Homes another way. Yes. This yeah. has been another wasted hour. And if you just realized that, don't blame us. We warned you. Ha, ha, ha.